Harry, this is a question from one of our fans as part of our virtual draft experience and these are watching live on Facebook. So Alfredo wants to know, how would you describe uh, your style of play? Um, my style of play is um, tough, aggressive, and um, just mean, just nasty. Um, just good old down south Mississippi style football. Childs Walker. Um, yeah, hi Tyree. Uh, congratulations. Um, the 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 Ravens certainly said last night that they are very confident you could shift inside and play guard if that if that's what's needed. Are you confident in that as well? And, and and would would you enjoy that if that's what you're asked to do? Yes, sir. I'm going. Um, yes, sir. I'm more than definitely, I want to um, fill in the right guard spot. Um, got no. Um, had a wonderful player right there, and he's um, leaving the game, and it's going to be hard to fill in that spot with whoever I'm competing with, but I would love to compete for that spot um, if the, um, when it opens up, when I get down there. Jimena Lugo. Congratulations. What difference do you see between playing guard and tackle on the college level, and how do you think that will help you in the NFL? Um, far as just playing guard and tackle, it's really, um, I feel tackle just more space and guard just everything's happening right now. But far as just, um, just the transition, I don't feel like it would be a tremendous transition. It's just getting in, getting to work and learning the system and just play what you know how to do. Kirk McEwen. Thanks for coming on Tyree. Uh, I'm not, I just jumped back on, so I'm not sure if you got the question, but I want to know. We've never gotten that call. What's it like when that call comes in? You're sitting there waiting to hear if you're going to get drafted, and did you cry? <laughs> I cried. I shed a tear. Um, it was just, I wouldn't say it was stressful. It was just, <laughs> it was more anxious than anything because I was the last pick in the third round. I was like, Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, nobody wants me. <laughs> But it was, it was amazing once once um, Baltimore had got the last pick and I saw that Baltimore number. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, you froze up. Uh, somebody was trying to call me. I'm sorry, my phone been is crazy. Uh, but it was just amazing feeling. My heart dropped. I relieved. I shed a tear. And I had other guys, like far as other NFL guys that I know from Mississippi State came back and supported me. And it was just a dream come true. Congratulations. Todd Karpovich. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Congratulations. Um, how, how is playing in the SAC, such a competitive conference, you think will prepare you for life in the NFL? Can you ask me that question again? How um how was playing in the SEC, such a competitive conference, going to prepare you for life in the NFL? Um, it's going to prepare me very well, just like y'all saw yesterday. How many guys LSU um left, and that was pretty amazing. And Alabama just you know going against all caliber guys every game, um every week is just it's basically it, SEC is nothing but a little watered down NFL organization as far as besides you know would you get stifling that's about the difference you know the money part but just playing in SEC I'm going against uh I'm going against the Derrick Browns I'm going against those guys so it prepared me a lot to get ready for the NFL. Ryan Mink. Yeah uh wondering do you do you feel like if you had because you were a guard previously and then once you transferred you went out to left tackle do you feel like if you had stayed guard for your entire college career and just focused on that that you would have been an, an even higher draft pick he asked me that question again I yeah sorry I, I know you were playing guard at, at community college but then they kicked you out to left guard once you trans or left tackle once you transferred do you think that if you had stayed at guard your entire college career that you would have been even drafted even higher if you had been able to focus on that um well to be honest um I wouldn't say that was um, – I've, I've never played guard. Um, my first time playing guard was at the Senior Bowl. So, um, it was nothing I've never done. I, I only took guard reps at practice at Mississippi State. Um, so, 
this going to be new, but it's not. It's still work in football, so still got to block the man in front of you. Kyle Barber. Tyree, congratulations. How excited you. are you being drafted to a team that so heavily incorporates running the football? Um, That is – like the best case I could have ever been in as far as coming from Mississippi State, where we're just known for running the ball in the SEC and just to be able to block for a great talent like Lamar Jackson, um, which he is a demon when he got the when he's running with, on his feet. So it's, it's going to be great. I'm, I'm ready and I'm loving it and I'm glad I'm a part of this organization. All right, Garrett Downing, who has uh, a couple questions from fans that are taking part in our virtual draft experience. Yes, sir. Yeah, this question is from Bruce Jones. He noticed your necklace, Big Country. Yes, and he sir. wants to know what's the story behind that. Is that a nickname? Where's, what's the story behind that? Um, Big Country is my nickname. Uh, I've been having this nickname since high school. Um, I'm a country boy. I'm from Mississippi, Grenada, Mississippi. Um, this is my saying. Um, the a lot of people ask me what I hunt. I said, if it can crawl, I'm going to skin it, gut it, cook it. So it's that simple. It don't matter what it is, possum, coon, it don't matter. So this kind of my little thing, and I finally put it, um, put a little ice on it. That's all. But it's it's, it's a lifestyle. I'm a country boy. I, don't, I ain't no city boy at all. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Yes, sir. Matt Stevens. Hey, Tyree, and congratulations on being drafted. Uh, you had mentioned – you know, Marshall Yonda kind of leaving, obviously retiring. You enter at the same time that he's leaving. He was a third round pick. You're a third round pick. You know, can you speak a little bit uh, to to what it means to to come into a team like this and uh, potentially be his heir? Um, it means a lot. Just as far as you know, I gotta you know get my ranks up. I mean, he got time in the game. He's a legend, um, future Hall of Famer. Um, but humbly saying, you know, I still want to go in and filled in that spot like nobody never left, you know, just pick up where I came, pick up where he left off. So it's going to mean a lot just knowing that, hey, I got a, a lot to um, to look up to far just in that position and knowing the caliber, caliber player he was. And Garrett, do we have one more fan question here for Tyree? We do. This one comes from Matt Davis, and the question is, just what is the uh, what is your thing that what are you most excited about with coming here to Baltimore? I'm more excited about just you know getting to know the city, um, and the fan and the atmosphere, and just getting to work because I mean, I'm a true definition of a Mississippian. Uh, we too much don't leave Mississippi. If we leave Mississippi, we go to Memphis. So just just going and seeing other places and just competing and doing something that I love, it's going to be amazing just getting to adventure the world with great guys and players and elite players and just doing as much as I can for the fans, you know. I love the fans. All right, Tyree, we're, we have time for two more here. Uh, Kevin Richardson, go ahead. Uh, welcome to Baltimore, Tyree. Um, question is, uh, did you believe the Ravens was the team that were going to be uh, drafting you? Uh, I know you were the last player drafted yesterday. And did you have conversations with them uh, before the draft? Um, I, I, I talked to um, the coach kind of before, you know, during the drafting process. And I kind of figured that um, so they were having the, um, some retirements off the offensive line. And I kind of figured, um, knowing they had like four picks in the third round, I kind of knew it was kind of going to happen. But I, I, I didn't. I didn't know at all. Um, just – being that last pick, I was, I remember telling my girlfriend, I was just like, well, I got the family out today. Um, you know, we'll just try it again tomorrow, you know, just have, I'm keeping everybody's spirits high. I think my parents were more stressed out than I was. And just trying to keep the spirits high. But when they called that phone, it just dream come true. I'm still happy to this moment right now. All right. Last question here. Uh, Andrew Gillis, please uh, fire away. Yeah, I'm curious. I know you mentioned the transition from tackle to guard. I'm curious as to what characteristics you think you have as a lineman that translate particularly well to uh, to playing that right guard spot in Baltimore. I feel um, the transition is going to be real good because um, just like, you know, I was the starting left tackle at Mississippi State. So 
I have um, the tackle footwork and I have a guard body. So I'm going to bring in a big old athletic guy to this organization that um, smart, can learn the playbook and learn schemes and just going to try to do my part and just let everything play out.